Did it. Zero five. Okay. Time to snoop some more. Dun dun dun. Creepy house. Lonnie. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't Cigarettes. look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. <laughs> like I must think. But I said no. There was Basement nothing wrong. Key. I just wanted to say. <sighs> but I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. Gentlemen, just she got up and sat next to me. And Great and looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever? And that's when she kissed me. Oh. <laughs> How do you write those giggles? That's funny. So she, no, she got this magazine for all the UFO X file stuff. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> Everybody's got secret porn in this house. You know, mom's got the romance novels. Novels. I don't know what a novel is. All right. So let's go explore the psycho room, and then then we'll do the basement. <laughs> she literally wrote giggle, giggle, giggle. I'll accept that. I'm trying not to be nervous, because I really don't think that's what this game means to be, but you're doing a good job of just not being clear with the atmosphere. Dun, 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 dun. This is when it turns into Amnesia 3! Dude, that's like a... What? What? It's just a... You're kidding me. It's just a link to mom and dad's room? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna have like a big secret room. Come on. Come on. That's funny. Yeah, well, if I had actually looked at the map, I could have figured that out for myself. <laughs> Somebody's been here. Okay, looks like we're going downstairs. We don't have the attic. I totally, totally bought into that too. I'm guessing you are not the basement. Where's the fucking basement? Oh, the one that says two basement. I think that's it. Jeez. The map answers all these simple questions if you just look at the map. Um, to the light switch. No light switches allowed. No. Whatever you do, do not give me a light switch. Oh God! Is there any more light? I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Let's one thing at a time. Grab some chips, eat some chips. Three ring binder. Lots of three ring binders. Notes. Samantha. 
would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. Flavorful potatoes. Weird being around your parents that long, but it's pretty funny. How impossible is it for your dad not to be awkward for more than 36 at a time? Cordially yours, close friend and confidant. Or confident. Looks actually, looks like confident. A fancy man. Quite. <laughs> Ms. DeSoto. Thank you and kind for being such a gracious host. The father's estate. Famous Thanksgiving feast was more enjoyable. The two events, I must say, especially appreciate the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and refined air. Let's do it again. Same time next year. But then, that's funny. Oh. Just, what a nosy sister. Seriously. Just. Let Sam tell you what's going on. Come on. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret, secret date. dating? Oh, she... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I Seven guess Parkin. that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night... Where it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Aw. <laughs> and then the foreboding music. Wah. I'll cut one of my old sex ed assignments. This is pretty much the same one. And what did she write? She just... <laughs> I like the contrast there. That's funny. Especially because Sam worked in all the right answers just into that story. Yeah, I could use some more Street Fighter references. What's up, Creepy Furnace? I'm just calling everything creepy. Is there another light? We're missing the lights. Any but towels? We got towels. We got. Holy crap, it's a big basement. Letter. Read college for Sam. Mission of creative writing. You have much to contribute to read college. Based on your portfolio, 75% of the tuition. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, Let's just have fun while we can. Oh. Sam and Scrap. Why is that in Grandpa's old stuff? This seems to be what we're going through here. What else we got? Books. Accidental Seer. Oh, dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of her newly published book. The lens through which the personal. Can I just let you in surviving the great ordeal that is your publication? You can do better. Thanks, Dad. I don't think he got along with Pops. Dad's depressed. Three ring binders everywhere. What's it? Folder. Mom's citizenship stuff. Naturalization. Okay. So she's 
from Canada. Okay. So we go into the... Where, what we got down here? The lit room or the not lit room? We'll go not lit room. Lid. Did we just find Grandpa's ashes? What is that? Pharmacy ledger. Okay. Postcard. Hey, Sam. I'm writing to you from Falls. It's March. I don't know if anyone's writing. The school's been to Oregon. Sure. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you. The gift shop. Hmm. Looks old, though. They oh. tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Oh, no like, secret for passage. hours. Oh, right stairs. before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Uh-oh. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. So she actually bought jewelry. Uh, we got another. It's more music. She hung out all over the house, man. Girl Scout, one of those Cub Scout. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they oh, were all kind of like, there. you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. <laughs> All right, let's read this this time. So happy you like the drawings. Think it was druid. You'd love Mexico. Oh, that's the mask I threw on the floor. There I've been, I almost feel you've been trying to save it. Uh, da, da. Last letter got me. The day before we start back north, we'll be racing this letter home. Yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Cute. So, what's going on with these little bells? Is the library missing one? What's up, creepy room? Oh shit! Where the hell is this house going? Oh, there's the actual house. Okay. How much of that do I actually have revealed? Oh, maybe half of it. Study library, music room. Okay. These rooms like missing a corner. Huh. Man, 
look at all that stuff to the right. Kitchen, dining room, laundry, bathroom. How the hell's this going? Intercombination. No freaking clue. That's a shame. Oh, door. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's terrifying. Hold on. Before I go down that hallway, let's go down the other hallway. What is this all about? I got two big, dark, secret passages. And a friggin' thunderstorm. And friggin' upstairs. What are you? You look like you're the door. Go up slower, because it's creepier. Where the fuck are we now? Where the fuck are we? Where the fuck are we? This house is... Crap. <laughs> I'm turned around. Okay. All right, we know this goes somewhere. Let me go through the dark room first. Sorry to backtrack. Let's just go into the darkness. I'm sure it'll be fine. I really want to know what that is. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it won't let me go anywhere. Alright, whatever. We'll pretend that that's not creepy. Stop it, weather. So that went nowhere. Alright. Upstairs now. secret rooms does Sam have? She's got drawings all over this house. Rattlebeal. Scrap. Costumes. Cheerleaders from Smells Like Teen Spirit video. Jackie Kennedy. Psycho House Girl. Cool stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know. They're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral Vision? That didn't work. Peripheral costumes? Like, where's the rest of that? That's the lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on the stage were just so loud and real and awesome. Everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. This is stuff I've read. Or had read to me, anyway. What else we got here? We got comics! Human Outlaws. Pillows. Socks. Underneath pillows. More music. Evans to Betsy. Such good... Good names. Good band names. against the patriarchy. I'm the terrorist who turned off the music. Heard enough, had enough. That's pretty cool. Send us the missing... That's cool. That's cool. Let me throw that on the ground. Now what do we got? Had enough. Heard enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. Wipers. That landed awkwardly. More chips. Grab label. Girl, just that's. Ah, oh, again with the pizza psych out. 
Alright. Appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. Should initiative was well written, does not change your mind on this matter. So Miss Soto is a friend of yours. The fact that matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. It's your complaint that no other student has been punished for the part in this incident. The fact that no guilty party has come forward and there's been no convincing evidence to, as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there was no one to punish. Suggest letting this issue drop. Jerks. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, Whoa, she's going woman. to join the army and then have to lie? about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie oh, sometimes. Here I am. We got flickering lights again. Chan so Mom got her hair did. Well, is everybody standing, studying Spanish? Offer of promotion. Thanks, Bruce. Hey, Lonnie. Sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. So did Mom read this? Charlie around when her force is like an hour away, and then when she's home, she takes it out on you because you're not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her on it. I'm sorry. So I'm bringing it up. <laughs> Whoa! Not living with mom. What else we got here? Froth. Uh, anything else hidden? Let's see anything? All right. So it said that it takes mom an hour to get to work. There was something out here about the commute. I'm gonna double check that for some reason. Maybe she's start stopping over at Rick's house. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. All kinds of secret rooms. Examine stub. National tickets. Earth, wind, and fire. What the hell is that? 95, Thursday. I still don't get, like, the whole creepy house atmosphere side of this yet. Saying the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was, like, three bucks. Love it. Miss you. Treasured always. Throw it on the floor! Purse. Pamphlet. Note. Uh oh. Note from Rick. Two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire. My girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. So that leaves me with an extra ticket I thought you might be interested in more than. Went on a date? 
dad liked Earth, Wind, and Fire too. That was up in their room. Poor dad. He's just a bad writer. He's probably depressed all the time. Whoa! What's going on in the greenhouse? What we got? What we got? What we got? Another zine. I like the zines. Oh, folder. Uh oh. Sam. Since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your brother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges from using your car for any time except going to and from school. I understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue this kind of behavior at school. Clearly, one of your privileges, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again. Hmm. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students, parents, out of school supervisor. Suspension. Hmm. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. Oh. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, <laughs> and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. Ew. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, <sighs> joke's on them. Because yes. they're in for one very long phase. Flutter. First off, congratulations. James Greenbrier, our regional director, and I say congratulations because it's... Because, come on, you're going to have to take the job, right? Let me time, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're reading a lot into the innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay. So we have to figure out when we'll see each other in person. Enough with the letters. Oh, you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Just leaving these around the house. It's fine. Calm down, Storm. An accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Huh. He's still trying. 